Fuzzy and Nuts are on a trip through the Earth's history, showing us what it was like to live with dinosaurs, what the greatest natural disasters ever were, and the worst extinctions ever on Earth. But now they find themselves at the dawn of our own history, two and a half million years in the past. The Stone Age began in what was called the Paleolithic Era, approximately two and a half million years ago, and ended at around 9000 BC with the rise of human civilization. The Stone Age is so called because it's primarily known for the use of stone tools by man and his ancestors, and marks the first time in known history when any animal developed the ability to build and use advanced tools, such as flint tip spears and arrows. Many animals even today use sticks and even rocks as tools to hunt or communicate, but the use of stone tip spears and other primitive stone implements was a huge leap in intelligence that set man and his ancestors apart. For much of the Stone Age, the Neanderthals reigned supreme. Though typically pictured as crude brutes with little intelligence, Neanderthals were actually very intelligent and are credited with discovering fire. They also developed primitive art forms such as cave paintings, and recent discoveries in France show that they even had some basic rituals for the dead hinting at a primitive form of spirituality. Neanderthals, however, would go to decline about 40,000 years ago with the appearance of Cro-Magnon Man, an early version of the modern man. Cro-Magnon was more intelligent than its Neanderthal cousins, as evidenced by the discovery of finely crafted stone and bone tools, shell and ivory jewelry, and advanced cave paintings made with paints of multiple dyes. Eventually, Neanderthals would go extinct, and modern man would arise to make the world we live in today. But what was it really like in the Stone Age? Well, for starters, it was cold. The Stone Age is also known as the Ice Age, as the 2.6 million year long period of cold temperatures began almost the same time as the Stone Age, and only ended 11,700 years ago. That means that for most of the Stone Age, it was cold, with temperatures on average 12 degrees colder than they are today. Huge glaciers covered the Northern Hemisphere, and it was during this time that some of the largest mammals to ever live existed, such as the woolly mammoth. For early man, the woolly mammoth was a prey item, though the hunts were extremely dangerous and only successful because of man's ability to build spears and communicate complex ideas, allowing hunting packs of men to strategize and overcome the massive beasts. However, more fearsome predators than man also lived during this time, the most famous of all being the saber-toothed tiger, who would have made a quick meal out of any hunter. Despite popular opinion in Hollywood diets though, man did not primarily eat meat, but rather existed on a combination of fruits, berries, nuts, grains, and the occasional meat from a successful hunt. We know this because of the wear patterns on ancient teeth and the discovery of grains in early man sites. For most of the Stone Age, man lived on the move, a nomadic lifestyle that followed herds of animals and migrated to warmer climates during the winter. This meant that Neanderthals and other early ancestors actually had some basic knowledge of astronomy, as watching the sky and recognizing the stars above your head and their positions in the sky could tell you when winter was coming and when it was time to move. Ignoring the stars was a good way to die off. It's thought that this early watching of the night sky led to the roots of spirituality and religion, with early man assigning special meaning to the mysterious wandering stars, the sun, and the moon. What started off as a survival strategy for a nomadic animal would end up being the start of all the world's modern religions. Man got his start millions of years ago as a group of apes left the trees to wander the savanna standing on two feet, surviving dangerous predators and the rigors of a two and a half million year long ice age. Man would go on to dominate the world he lives in and shape it to his will.